Paving this shit crap. I ain't trying to. Can you please catch this? Don't throw that shit, bro. I'm, yeah, I'm throwing it. Don't do that. No! Can you some intro with me? Say with me. What's up, Barbs? What's up, kids? Come on, bro. What's up, Barbs? What's up, kids? It's your girl, Life Talk. I just said, what's up, Barbs? You said, ready? Yeah. What's up, Barbs? What's up, kids? It's your girl, Life Talk. Barbs, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Life Talk. Barbs, and welcome back to my channel. What's up, Barb? <laughs> What's up, Ken? It's your girl, Lifestyle Barb, and welcome back to, to my life. channel. Y'all said I got something a little different with y'all. We can't stop pedaling. That's the motor with a video, and he in a hot seat while we do it. So I'm gonna make him be feeling real uncomfortable. You can't, you, you can't make me feel uncomfortable here. You know, I do this work out shit, so. The questions will be very uncomfortable. He been in work mode, grind mode, doing this thing on YouTube, you and y'all been seeing that aspect of him. So I want y'all to see a fun side of him and a little bit more personable. So before we get into the video, who I'm tired already. Really? Yeah. Oh, you got shape. Very much so. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bells on so you know when I post and follow me on Instagram, y'all. Let's get into it. Who's your favorite sister? Yeah. <laughs> favorite sister. I don't really have a favorite sister. Bro, come on. This is the hot seat. Be honest. I'm being dead ass honest. I don't have a favorite sister. Who are you closest to? Probably Sabrina now. What? Yeah. That's. Sorry to bless you, Bubba. Wow, that's crazy. Probably Sabrina. But I had different conversations with all of y'all. So. I used to be your favorite. Rochelle is more like introverted. Is I went to jail? Probably so. Damn, that's fucked up. That's not our handshake. <laughs> Who your favorite brother? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. Nah, man, you gotta answer it. My favorite brother, Dino TK. Listen, y'all, I don't got favorite siblings and shit like that. Yes, I ain't gonna call him my favorite. He just the. He, the <laughs> I don't relate to <laughs> Dino, but we, we alike, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we love all our siblings equally. Yeah. Hey, I need you to turn your thing up. I'm already tired. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Wait, your shit below mine. I'm on 16. I'm gonna eight. Go to eight. Yeah, we gon' we gonna get a workout in for real. We, you know what I'm saying? I need her to sweat. So All I'm right. just trying to make me sweat. We trying to get hot. It's the hot seat. So where do you see Jack TV three years from now? Three years from now, Jack TV will be on one major network. In what network? If do you it's not on a major network, um, then I will have my own network. Hundred percent. That's real dope. That's yeah. big dreams. Yeah. This should be your inspiration right big here, bro. Dreams? Yeah. Oh. I don't be bullshit, I be busy, you guys, so if y'all want me to drop some shit, comment down in the comments if y'all want me to drop some Bro, shit. No. I do got a project I want to drop to call Jeff Montreux. He is such a perfectionist, y'all. Mm -hmm. He be showing me his music, and I be like, bro, put that shit out, that shit sound great. And he be like, nah, because I didn't say this like this. You see, you hear that? And I be like, bro, no, just drop that shit. Okay. It's so annoying, but like, he really got some good music. Y'all can't wait for him to put it out. I'm going to drop some shit eventually, I just got to, you know. Can you give him like a little sneak peek? Can I throw a little sneak peek over here? You can, a little sneak peek. I'm gonna let y'all hear a little something. 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 But that's not where I want to be. That makes sense. So what, what, where do you have to be to be able to have another kid? Uh, I just feel like when I have another kid, I want to be retired. I want to have to be like building nothing or, you know what I'm saying? I want to be strictly dad mode every day. Yeah, I get what you mean. my business. Right. You seen that, that interview with Nick Cannon when he was like, dang, he wish he didn't have so many kids because he can't give them all the same type of time? He's steady having it. I know. Nick. Nick got loops. What's up, Timmy? <laughs> Nick got lupus though, so I feel like that's the real reason why. He, he has lupus, so if he can get something from his kids to cure it, that's why. So I'm thinking like that's what he's doing right now. I think I want you to freestyle. Freestyle. I'm gonna throw a word out, and you gotta, you know, 
Alright, I ain't got no beat. Bro, you do this all the time. I do this shit all the time. She always want me to run. Bro, I went to the feds over there. Uh, bitch, she ain't drop a dime. Uh, I just need to fucking build a house. Buy a nigga named Bob. Uh, these niggas be playing with me. I ain't know this. I'm a slob. Uh, I finna go in the pool and take a swim. Me and Bob right here in the gym. I feel like that. What the fuck going on? I got a home that nigga named Tim. What you say? Gold. You say, you say gold? Cause I got a lot of goals. Nigga, I live a full time. Slam with me, my nigga. Uh, nigga, I am the best. I be like, I damn want me over the tech. I bust a brain when I fucking switch. You too. Uh, nigga, I swear to God, I got the YouTube. <laughs> I do do. <laughs> the goo goo. I'm a guru. Yeah. Niggas playing with me. Nigga, a loose screw. Yeah. Uh, hit the nigga on the head with a nail. Probably hit the nigga on the head with a nail. Niggas, they mad, they squirrels. I swear to God, put a nigga. Oh, I can't be, I, I can't rap, y'all. Fuck the EP. <laughs> So what? Number 10. Ooh. You see what happens if you barely move that motherfucker? Bro, you it's jump. Nice. Yeah, come on. I see. I'm asked for this shit. I see. We gonna break you a sweat today. Hmm. Okay. Sweat we got. Nah, no, I just got my shit done. How many bodies you got? Bodies for sure. No, I'm playing. Come on, dude. <laughs> you ready for the thing? You said what? <laughs> no. Bro, get the fuck back on the bike. We got him. We got him. Nah, bro, I gotta stop. I'm gonna... No, bro, you gotta go. This is part of the shit, bro. It don't matter. They gotta see you sweat, bro. Damn, y'all niggas don't wanna put no work in, but wanna do YouTube. That shit crazy. Nigga, work in. You can't break, break a sweat for your channel? Yeah, I can. Well, break a sweat. I'm sweating. Damn, that is kinda a little too loose. I ain't gonna lie. Answer it. That's what? How many bodies do you have, nigga? Bodies like my girls? Yes. If I'm being realistic, y'all. Don't lie. I wouldn't drop names, but I ain't gonna do that. So I'm just going like this. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Six. And I'm 28. That's a good number. I'm a nigga. It's my brother ain't out here being a hoe. What is your favorite designer and why? My favorite designer? I say Balenciaga. Why? I like how. We just talked about this. Too. I like how bold they is. What they you put mean, out the most. No, 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 no. It ain't got nothing to do with the letters. It's just like how different they is. Like they, they gon' they drop whatever. The shit. But let's see, I'm just super simple though. And I like the simplicity of shit. I don't, I'm not playing boy person, so I like keeping shit like simple. I know, but you just said it was bold. Bold as in like you ain't never seen a Balenciaga hoodie where that hoe just big. You ain't never seen a big ass rubber boot, Balenciaga boots. Oh yeah, okay. It's plain as fuck, but it's like bold. Like, yeah, okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I like wearing shit that people don't, don't want to wear. If you had to be a brand ambassador for one of these, like brands. Balenciaga? You want me to say what I would think you would say? What? I would think you would say Burberry. Nah. Uh, I'd say Red Raider. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Put me on. I drop, uh, d d drop a link. I'll show you a hoodie. Oh, wait. That's the, that's the hoodie you showed me yesterday? Yeah. Oh, that hoe was hard. Yeah. That was hard. That's I like that. Red Shout out to you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> we were really want to get in his business a little more, don't we? No, I mean. I'm over here. When last time you took a bath? Uh, today. I was with you all day and seen you getting to. Before you came with me, took a bath. You wash between them toes? Always. Behind your ears? Always. I, I don't actually, you know, fun fact, I don't even wash my ears in the tub. I wash my ears at the sink after I get out the shower. Your belly button? I've never put my belly button, I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> I never literally, deliberately go inside my belly button. No, I But I do clean my stomach. If you go in there, Okay, but you speaking from experience. No, <laughs> no, it's yeah. just funny because yeah. it's like, whatever. Y'all know, give them your belly buttons, because them belly buttons hold a whole bunch of dirt. Yeah, but a nigga will lie about some shit like that. Yeah, but I clean my belly buttons every night. Man, I don't do that shit, but I do clean my stomach. But you just don't get inside. I just don't. Get well, inside, bro. I have a looper, so I don't, I don't use a towel. I ain't never got to, you know. Just get in there? Yeah. I feel it. But turn it up. This nigga here, it's my turn. You came on here this way, get high. Not me. Who was your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush used to be Ariana Grande. Used to be? Yeah, I don't have one no more. Why not? I just don't. I mean, I, went, I had a crush. I was crushing on Ariana Grande when I was like younger. I remember because you used to play a song. I yeah, well, I, I think I turned my shit up too much. You feel like you got throw up? No, I feel like I throw up. It's just working now. 
No. But yeah, I used to be affectionate with Ariana Grande. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If you watch this Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> a celebrity rapper that you would want to work with in the future. A celebrity, uh, Kid Leroy. Corey Leroy? Kid Leroy. What, sing a song. Enlighten me. I remember times when I ain't had shit. No food in the crib. I look lavish. They said they love me to my face, but I can't stand it. Them hoes ain't fucking me back then. Now they attract it. If it attached to my bro and he gon' blast it. Don't tell me what I did to you. Don't know. Made it out the hood. We'll throw it at you. I'm good. Did it for my brother. This is so. Okay. I did it for my brother. I did it for my brother. Hey, you watching this? Give him a feature. <laughs> <laughs> if you could change one thing in your whole entire span of living, what would you change? I wouldn't change nothing because I feel like one little thing can affect the whole complexion. So I wouldn't change nothing. Nothing? I feel like I'm here where I'm at for a reason. You say what I thought you was going to say? What? I mean, it's not really nothing that you could change, but I thought you was going to like say, dang, you wish K wouldn't have. I mean, but shit. Yeah. The universe. What if he was? Still, and then I would have crashed out with him. You think so? One day down the road. You never know. You always been strong on it, though. No, no, always. I don't think you were, like, impressionable. Somebody like To make some, like, somebody. You influence? Yeah, I don't think he was that. It just depends on who, who it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People be like, you know what I'm saying, um, you are the company that you keep. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. R.I.P. <laughs> Get more We're not turning this shit up no more. At all. But you hey. are sweaty. Yeah. He is hot. This is the hot seat. All right, be smart. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever see yourself leaving Houston? No. Why? Never. I love my city. You don't even do anything here, though. I don't got to do anything here. I love my city. Hmm. I, guess I don't do shit at home, but I love my house. That's true. <laughs> it's hot as fuck up in here. I just got my hair redone. No, on some real, on some real shit though, I just, I travel a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a little more than I used to, and me seeing the other cities that I have been to, you don't, they, I, don't. they don't compare to Houston. Mm-hmm. I see why Houston is the third biggest city. Where? In the US? Yeah. Oh, in the world. Not in the world, it's like the 20 something, 20, 21st biggest city in the world. Fuck Mary Q. Uh, you ready? Yeah. Carrie Houston, Beyonce, and Christina Milian. I mean, Christina Milian. Why? She's my type of female, I feel like. Oh, my ass hurt. Uh, Ooh. Carrie Hilson, I'm gonna kill her. Why? I just had no way. She's beautiful. She's, I'm not saying she's not. You ask me a question, I'll give you an answer. Hey. She getting killed. Watch out. Hey, Carrie Hilson, who's Carrie Hilson? Uh, my girl, mm -hmm. I'm so very. Fly, oh my, it's a little bit scary. Boys wanna marry, looking at my dairy. And you can stab it if you touch it, I'm, you don't know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm killing her. But, uh, <laughs> my smash Beyonce. So you gonna marry Kristen and Leon? Yeah. Cause Beyonce too hype? No, it's not about the hype or nothing. I just don't, I just not really attracted to Beyonce like that. Ooh, the beehive gonna get you. <laughs> the beehive gonna get you. Well, I got my own perky. I'm not saying she's ugly, she's not my type. Physical appearance, you know what I'm saying? I might talk to her and have a good conversation. Hypothetically fucking speaking. <laughs> <laughs> if you feel me, I just wouldn't marry Beyonce based on, we're going based on looks, right? Everything, talent. I don't know these motherfuckers. I said talent. Talent wise, if you want to do talent, then I would definitely marry Beyonce. Hmm. She's the most successful one. But if we're going out looks, I'm gonna marry uh, Christina Milian. Do you think you'll ever get into the field of being like director, producer? I do want to do that. I ain't gonna lie. I do not. I'm not the type of person who really craves to be in a line like on the camera. I like creating. Be the camera. I, 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 I get more joy out of making somebody a star than being one. I love you. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna take you out to dinner. <sighs> Where you going? McDonald's. That's cool. How are you mentally? Mentally, I'm in a very peaceful place mentally. Really? Very driven to accomplish my goals. What's one huge goal you want to have accomplished by the end of the year? By the end of the year, I want to see all my family members not working at a 9 to 5. Okay. If I can complete that goal, then... <laughs> That's live. Yeah. If he completes that goal, he's 
doing this all along. You feel me? Yeah. Stop playing with my brother. Yeah. He not want to be played with. Even though I get on my nerves sometimes. I love this cat. We are gonna wrap it up in a little bit. I got a few more questions. So what is next for Jack TV? Like, where is your content gonna go? Are you still gonna continue to do loyalty tests? Like, um, I eventually will start doing other content because, like I said, I got aspirations of starting a whole network. So I don't want people to put me in a box and think that I'm only capable of doing loyalty tests. I kind of want to run my YouTube channel like a, a TV network to where you might have a loyalty test on Monday, Tuesday, you might have a podcast. And then Wednesday, you might have just a crazy ass video, concept of a video or whatever. But I definitely don't want people to put me in a box of this nigga only can do loyalty tests because that's not the case. Mm -hmm. And with loyalty tests, I'm kind of like, um, I don't know when I'm going to post a loyalty test. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it depends on people. Got you. So. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. If y'all out there and y'all need to catch y'all spouse doing something, this is the guy. I think that's all the questions I got for him. If you guys enjoyed this hot seat session, and if y'all want to see more sessions like this, like content like this, make sure y'all drop it down below and let me know. Y'all want somebody else in the hot seat, let me know who that is. And see. I got a question for you though. Who it? Are you gonna, you gonna do more hot seats? Yeah. Are they gonna ride bikes like this too? I think I want to do different stuff. Mm -hmm. Bikes, like There's gonna be cooking. some dealing with the seat? Yeah. So why did you choose bikes for me? Cause you just get a little chubby. <laughs> because I wanted you to be hot while doing it. Okay, cool. It's hot seat. I want to get this way. I enjoyed myself. You did? Yeah. I'm glad you did. Mm -hmm. Hope I can see you on my channel a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Love y'all. Make sure y'all tap in with my Instagram, his Instagram, his channel, all of that. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell so I'll see you notified every time we post. And we out. Let's go. I mean, one time I did this shit and I, and I let go and it hit the fuck out of my shit. <laughs> you ever been on one of the ones you stand up and they go like this? No. Bro, yes you do. Fat chilies and K to side, why me fuck up the beat? That's a Mr. Mina, regular squeaky clean first, Mr. Mina, body yellow whip. I call it Pika Pika since you say you hot, I'm shooting heat six. Yeah, you know the vibes, don't fuck it up. Why me hop on a beat and I run it up? These niggas mad, we going dumb. I told them 2020, bitch, we going up. Yikes.